Hey YouTube family, it's Daughter of the Most High. There is breaking news all over YouTube. I'm going to share from Off Grid Desert Farming. Paul, let's get right into it. Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. This is Sunday, October the 16th, 2022. I want to welcome everyone to our live broadcast this morning. I will not be very long. I'm only going to do one article. But I wanted to give you some more breaking news that we uh, posted last night about China evacuating or ordering the emergency evacuation of their embassies and all people in Ukraine that are Chinese citizens to get out and get out now. Uh, we have some additional information on that. And it does look like that um, so many countries now are putting out emergency evacuation orders for their foreign nationals to leave. This information is coming in from War News 24-7, which is a Greek website. By the way, folks, this is not run by Russia. It's not run by Vladimir Putin. It's not run by any Russian citizen or organization. This is run by a Greek website called War News 24-7. You can go to it. All of the articles are in Greek. You have to translate into English a very, very thorough and professional website that breaks a lot of news that we report on our channel, folks. And usually in a day or two, the major news media across the world picks up the information that War News 24-7 has posted and uh, runs with a story. So let's go ahead and get started. Shock and awe is coming to Kiev. Six MiG-31s with Kinzel in Minsk. Belarus embassies are evacuated and foreign nationals leave. Belarusian BM-24 Ergan on the border with Ukraine. So this is the latest news, but what you're looking at on your screen, this is the MiG-31. This is the fastest fighter jet in the world, uh, and um, this is from the Soviet days, but they call this the MiG-31. It can fly higher and faster than about any other fighter jet in the world. And what you're looking at underneath the fighter jet is the Kinzel hypersonic missile, which goes about Mach 10 and can carry a conventional or nuclear warhead. So Russia has just sent a package of six of these MiG-31 to Belarus, uh, for an upcoming operation that does not look like it's going to be too long. So let's go ahead and read the article. China, Egypt, Saudi, uh, China, Egypt, Serbia, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, and Tajikistan have all issued emergency statements calling for their nationals to leave Kiev immediately and to leave Ukraine in general as Russia's shock and awe operation is expected. Their embassies are closing. So folks, what you have to realize is that all of these countries that I have just named, China, Egypt, Serbia, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, and Tajikistan, they are all Russian allies. They are uh, with the CIS, the Russian... Uh, NATO, they're all allies of Russia, so they know something is about to happen, <clears throat> that these are the allies of Russia, and they are calling for all their citizens to leave Ukraine and Kiev area immediately. It is of great importance that friendly and allied countries with Russia have asked for the immediate evacuation of their embassies and the departure of their citizens. The messages for Kiev are extremely ominous. A pack of six MiG-31s capable of carrying hypersonic Kinzel missiles landed for the first time in Belarus. The last time, those were mainly Su-30 <clears throat> and Su-35 fighter jets that had landed. The pilots of the MiG-31s circled for about 20 to 30 minutes before landing at the airport. At the same time, Belarusian uh, military convoy, they call it a phalanx, with BM-27 Ergan multiple-launch rocket systems, 
was detected just 10 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. The first 9,000 Russian reservists arrived in the Gomel area to join a force of 70,000 Belarusians announced by Alexander Lashenko. So Belarus is going to contribute uh, at least 70,000 or more of their soldiers to this new invasion of northern Ukraine and possibly Kiev very soon. The most significant indicator of Mint deep military involvement is a triangle and number two insignia now worn by Belarusian forces. Belarusia will enter Ukraine. Video convoy of Belarusian BM multiple launch rocket systems Ergan 10 uh, kilometers from the base. I'm going to play this for you folks. This is what uh, Belarus is sending now uh, to the front line uh, to help out Russia. And let me see if I can play this. So these were just spotted earlier today. This is a convoy of uh, Belarusian multiple launch rocket systems going to the border. So it does look like this this new wave, this new uh, invasion of Ukraine is about to happen. It does look like that Russia is about to drop the hammer on Kiev, the capital. And maybe, folks, maybe this is the start of a new invasion or the big buildup that we have been... That's all I'm going to show of Paul's video today, 36 minutes long. I'll leave the link in the description box. Have a wonderful Sunday, family.